Camera 17.3, the new reflection removal tool. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Plus a special surprise at the end. Let's go. All right, here we go. First thing you should do though is always make a copy of your background layer and make it a smart object and then go into Camera Raw. I'll do it this time. Now once you're in Camera Raw, let's go over to the side here and click on the little eraser. Now down here, we've got reflections. I found whether you hit preview standard or best, it doesn't change anything. So just hit apply. It'll think about it and it'll do its thing. Bam, the good. That did really well. Check it out. Now, if you want, go over to the slider and slide it all the way to zero. That's what was reflecting. Now, if you want to be cool about it, maybe just keep a bit, you know, go to 50 or zero, 50% 50 or zero. But here we go. This is a good one. Hit OK. Now you can continue doing what you want with the rest of the pick. Now, on the second one here, we've got all kinds of stuff going on. Let's find out what Camera Raw does. Once again, go over to the racer, reflections, and apply. There we go. And it's removed it. Another one. Not bad, not bad. We'll have to fix her hair a bit here. But other than that, another good one. This is what it does. And like I said, you know, I'll put it on standard. It'll redo things for a sec. I don't know. I didn't notice any difference. We'll go to best. It's taking its time this time. Once again, I didn't notice any difference at all. So we might as well just leave it on preview. But, you know, another good one. Now, in number three here, we've got all kinds of stuff going on. And it would be really cool just to see the girl having her coffee in the cafe there. So, let's go into camera, eraser, reflections, apply. Wow, that's some cool stuff. Let's back it off a bit here. And that's what the reflection was. Would kind of actually be a, a kind of a cool background if, for some reason, if you want to use it for a picture. But removed it all. We got a bit of stuff going on here, but that can be fixed later on. So, another good one. Now, in this one, We've got all kinds of stuff again, and a little bit of a, a pine tree or something in the background. So once again, we fly into camera raw and let's see what it does. Bam, that's magnificent. Just removed it all. Yeah, we got a little bit stuff to work on here, but that's very cool. A little bit of schmutz here, but that's no problem. It's amazing how it removed it. And there's the original, whatever it was. That's pretty cool. Another good one. Now, in this last good one, I really like this picture, but I want the reflection removed. So, once again, we go into Camera Raw, Racer Icon, Reflections, Apply. And bam, amazing. It took it all out from everywhere. Really digging this. I think this tool is kind of still in a work in progress, but it's doing really well and it can only get better, but it doesn't get it every time. I'll show you the bad. Okay, in this first one here, we got a lot of stuff that's in a reflection on this picture here. Let's go into camera raw and see what it does. Now, we'll go to reflections, apply. It'll think about it, it'll do its thing. And it didn't quite do it. Um, a lot of the reflection is still there. It did take out the main part of the white part of it. Um, let's have a look here. I mean, that's what the reflection is. And a lot of it is still there. So, yeah, that's the bad. I wonder what would happen. So let's make a... Uh, Stamp visible layer of that and go back into camera raw again. Let's see if we can double uh, try this here. Reflections. Here we go. No, still didn't do it. The bad. 
Now in this second one, these kids are stealing a smooch here. And we've got this reflection. What if the couple wanted just the picture of them? So once again, make it a smart object and go into camera raw. And here we go to reflections. Let's see what we got. Now, once again, it didn't do it. Yeah, that's the bad. Mm -hmm. What did it remove? It removed a lot of it, but just not quite a, enough. The bad. Now, in this last one, we've got a crazy reflection going on here, and I wanted to remove it. I just wanted the girl's smiley face in there. So, let's go into camera raw and see what it does. Didn't think about it. It might have to this time. And bam! Oh, that's just ugly. Uh, yeah. So we back it off. And there's a lot of it there, but it just distorts everything and just isn't good. That's ugly. Sometimes when you take a selfie or somebody takes a picture of you, there's a glare that comes in from a window somewhere and it kind of ruins the picture. It's not a reflection, but it's glare. And I'm thinking to myself, well, I wonder what the reflection removal tool would do with glare. Here's three examples of what I found. It doesn't work every time, but check this out. Okay, here's the first one, and you can see there's this glare coming in from the window and stuff. So I'll make a copy of it. Smart object, go into camera raw, hit the eraser, we'll go to reflections, and apply. What's it going to do to glare? Bam. And here we go. A picture that could have been a throwaway picture now can be resurrected into a great picture. We might have to clean up this blue part here, but it's great. The reflection removal tool can remove glare. In this second example, you can see the glare coming in from the window, and it's ruining this great picture of these kids having some fun here. So, once again, copy the glare, smart object, go into camera raw. What will it do to this glare? And once again, it fixed the picture for me. It's just great. A little bit of touch-ups here and there, and you've got a picture that was once a write-off, and now it looks really good. In my last example here, we've got a great picture of Grandpa and the little baby here. And, of course, you can see the glare and everything coming from the window and another window uh, next to it just kind of trashes the picture. We'll see what reflection removal will do. Eraser. Apply. And bam, it removed it. You got a little bit of stuff here we got to fix. Maybe bring out his face and stuff. But it's amazing what it did on glare. Very cool. There's what it was, and there's what it came out to be. It's just fantastic. If you have some pictures that have got glare, give this a shot. Let's see what happens with your pictures. Well, there you have it. That kind of caught me off surprise there with the glare, because there's a lot of selfies and a lot of pictures, even some restorations that I've used it on, and it removes the glare and brings back the picture for you. That's brilliant. Like I said, it's probably a work in progress, but this tool is gonna be great in the future. I'm digging it. If this tutorial helped you at all, please like and subscribe. It'll help me out here, kids. I'm done from Photo 911. See ya.